Okay, well let's learn to uh, how to create a site where you would edit directly on your W drive. So as opposed to the FTP method, you don't have two sets of files like an FTP one in your local drive and then a backup essentially on the W drive. Now you have you just edit directly on the web and uh, no, with no backup things change uh, immediately as soon as you save the file. So what you do first is you go to site, a new site. I'm just going to call this, I don't usually edit locally, but uh, so I'm just going to make this kind of temporary and I'm going to say edit locals, what I'll call the site. Uh, this local site folder actually isn't, there's only one folder and we'll call it local, although it's really on the drive. So what I do is I go to my computer and I find my W drive. Um, and I know that it's actually, uh, I guess it's, I can't see, oh, user web W. Okay, so I select that and double click it. See, it says select W, so we know it got the right one. Click select, and now I'm already, that's it. I don't have to worry about uh, servers or anything else. Um, I just uh, have the site. So now say save. And if this works correctly, now for you guys, if you haven't set up a site, you shouldn't see anything. But for me, it actually should show all my files on the web. Now, it takes a while because it sets up this cache that's, uh, and I have based on all the files I have on there, and there's a lot. So, you have to wait while that finishes. And now you can see all of my files on the web are actually here, and I can edit them directly. It's kind of scary, but I'll just show you... Um, an example of how this is true is uh, if I go to uh, my index file. Well, right now, let's look at my page on the web. Let's say, um, uh, oh, certainly not. Would you like it to be? No. Uh, but anyway, um, so all I have to do is say e edu and then tilde my id um, r hall. And there is the site that I have set up on the web, uh, and that's what it looks like. Okay, so actually, since I'm at the root level, this is the index file at the root level of my folder. That's where it goes automatically when you type your main web address. So if I go to this, I can find this index file right here. And uh, it looks really weird in Dreamweaver because I use CSS and whatnot. And as a rule, I, I don't use the WYSIWYG and Dreamweaver very much. But let's say um, somewhere it says uh, Richard H. Hall. And so I put an X next to that. And then I save it. So that should change automatically on the web. So now if I go to my file and I uh, reload the page, there's a little X there. Well, I don't really want an X, so, but it, see how it edited it, changed it immediately. So if I go up back to Dreamweaver, get rid of the X, and I save this file, go back to the web, and I find out that uh, the X went away. Okay, so that's just um, a way that you can easily edit files locally. Uh, there's disadvantages. You don't have backups to your files, and it happens right away, so you don't get to preview it, although the preview in Dreamweaver is not that great anyway. But that's one of the options. Also, I guess another disadvantage is you may not have access directly to that W drive mounted on your on your desktop. But um, anyway, so that's one way to set, set up a site uh, in Dreamweaver. You have the choice to do e either one of those.